Today, we're at the Luton Who Hotel, getting to know Yorkshire's favourite food blogger, Chris Blackburn, aka Yorkshire Pud. His task will be to answer as many quickfire questions as he can in two minutes, while attempting to construct a traditional Viking longboat. Remind me why we're making a longboat again? Well, I realise it's quite tenuous, but York was a massive Viking stronghold. Okay. Ready, set, uh, yes. go. Okay. So describe your blog in three words. Ooh, Yorkshire's finest foods. What are your kitchen must-haves? An I grill mini is going to change your life. You've got to buy one. A neff oven, love my neff oven, and sharp knives. How do you like your steak? Medium rare. What's your secret to the perfect Yorkshire pudding? Oh, Charlotte, that's easy. Beef dripping. What about the ratio of gravy? So, the Yorkshire pudding needs to hold the gravy. If you can fill it to the top, that's the perfect amount of gravy. Is there anything you dislike eating? Kidneys. Yuck. What's the best restaurant you've most recently eaten at? Uh, Eric's at Lindley in Uddersfield. Beautiful place. The guy who owns it is mad as a hatter, but his food is fantastic and the ambience is pretty good too. What's the weirdest thing that's happened to you because of the blog? Um, I was recently paid in two bottles of vinegar. That was a little <laughs> bit strange. That's pretty unusual. If you could time travel, which year would you go back or forward to? Oh, oh 2000 and... My wife's going to kill me for this. Uh, 2001 when I got married, no, engaged, in Montego Bay in Jamaica. On Valentine's Day, actually. Oh, very sweet. And if you could pick anything in the north to move to the south, what would it be? People are the best in the world. Let's play a quick elimination game. Let's do it. Beer or wine? Wine. Brian Turner or James Martin? James Martin. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Twitter or Instagram? Twitter. Who do you follow? Um, I follow Gordon Ramsay, uh, Rich from Them Apples, and you, of course. Ah, oh, thank you. That's wonderful. Leeds or Sheffield? Leeds. Dales or Moors? Dales. Sting or the police? Sting. Oliver Cromwell or Charles I? Charles I. Aunt Bessie or Uncle Ben? Aunt who? I've never heard of the first one, so I'll go with Uncle Ben. <laughs> of course, you always make your own. Of course. OK, time's up. How's it looking? I don't think it's sailing very far. Maybe you should give it a little bit more time. OK, cut the V in the middle of the mast strap. What? Oh, I do what that is. It could be a moustache, maybe. Hello, Edwards. Hello, Charles. <laughs>